Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys we are back here inside of Roblox Studio right now. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys um, all about weights. This is part 4 of the beginner Q Pro script tutorial series and in this video today we are going to focus on weights and these are extremely important over here guys for multiple reasons. Before I start anything off over here and explain all about these I first need to go ahead and tell you a little bit about um, rblxcodes.com which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes, music codes and guides that there's tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall we give a code for over 300 Roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there. Anyway guys I guess let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So guys what exactly are weights? Well guys weights are pretty much um useful that's what i want to start off with over here guys so if i quickly do this right now all you need to do to actually make weights go into your script is just simply type out weight and then do two brackets after what exactly are weight statements guys well inside these brackets are a second and um, well the, inside these brackets are numbers and seconds so let's say i put 10 in here that would be equivalent to 10 seconds. So what does this actually mean, guys? Well, that means that this is going to wait 10 seconds before it actually prints Hello World over here, guys. And these are extremely important. But first, I'm going to demonstrate them working. So I want to click, um, I want to do wait two. And as you can see right now, guys, when I run, it's going to wait two seconds before it now prints Hello World. As you can see over there, there was a bit of the, there was a bit of a delay. However, if I were just to delete that right now, guys, it would have just done straight away. As you can see over there, it prints Hello World straight away right now, guys. So, wait allow you to have a little bit of um, space in between your scripts right now. And why exactly are these useful? Well, they are useful on multiple occasions. One occasion is when you're looping through things and maybe you want a bit of a, you, you want a bit of a break between each loop. Um, another reason for this is uh, let's say you wanted to wait a few seconds before maybe moving on to a next stage in a tutorial. Do you use this wait feature? Let's say you wanted to wait um, 10 seconds before all the players in your lobby got teleported off to um, a special mini games and area. You'd also use wait there, guys. So these are extremely important. So how? Um, well, I want to show you guys us using wait a bit more. So what we can do over here, guys, is actually make a variable local time is equal to um one and well one second guys let me put capital t over here because i don't really like it when it goes like that guys so let's just say um we can put the time over here guys and you can actually use weight with also a a variable over here guys as long as the variable is either a um a integer or a string um so, sorry guys an integer or a float which if you guys remember floats are decimals it's so like 1.2 it will work guys weights do not work with variables which are in fact um strings guys so again if you it's something like that or boolean values which is like true or false if you guys get what i mean over here so weights are going to work with variables which are um numbers pretty much guys um so if we wait time right now that's going to wait one second even though we did not put one in here because it's looking for the value of this which is one and that's now gonna that's now gonna be equivalent to one second so we can do something like this over here guys we can wait time and then print um print um, we can just print one, then we can print, uh, then we can, you know, guys, we can wait time again, and then we can also just print, um, we, we, one second, guys, let me just quickly copy and paste these out over here. So we could do something like this, which is kind of like a, a count, um, a little stop watch or something like that guys if you guys get what i mean over here so we play this right now guys each second it's gonna print the next value upwards which, which is really really useful right now guys if we did not have them waiting it would print them all at the same time so let's just delete these you know or we can just put the time at zero which is useful and um, that's uh, because this is a constant and i explained that in part two i'm pretty sure um but yeah, as you can see over here it's just printed out all this all at the same time guys so yeah if we did not have a wait in there then it's going to print out all the same time so yeah that's pretty much how you guys can use weights there's nothing else to them guys um but you will definitely see them th these used in my tutorials and also later on in this scripting um series right now guys so yeah they are going to come in handy very very soon but that's going to be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out